Hey guys, what's up and welcome back to the channel. Today we are cooking the most scrumptious, delicious cabbage rolls from scratch. So if you would like to learn how to make cabbage rolls, then you know what to do. Just keep on watching. Today I am making cabbage rolls and I'm going to go through the ingredients with you. Um, you're going to need, now this usually makes a ton, a lot of cabbage rolls, but I'm just going to make a crock pot full and let them cook overnight. Um, we are making, we're doing turkey, ground turkey and ground beef. You can use whatever meat of your choice. Um, you're going to need breadcrumbs. I'm using Italian breadcrumbs. Um, garlic. A head, a big head of cabbage. And then I always buy a small head of cabbage uh, but to use as the filling. And I'll show you what I mean by that. A green pepper. You need two cups of rice. I'm using jasmine. It's soaking right now. Um, you need a large sauerkraut. You need a large diced tomatoes or Italian diced tomatoes. You're gonna need a yellow onion, a large sauce, and I got an extra can of stewed tomatoes. That's gonna be in the filling. So basically what we are going to do is we're going to mix up a meatloaf mix, pretty much. Oh, and you will need two eggs and some garlic. Um, so we're going to make up a meatloaf mix and then we're going to make little rolls in our cabbage. This is a long process. I don't know how long this video will be, but I will try to keep it as short as possible. So the first thing we're gonna start with is dicing up our onion. So I hope everybody's been doing good. I've been doing well, as well as can be. And uh, just getting ready to start cooking for the fall. I'm so excited to make some candy. I don't know how much I'll get to make this year, but I'm gonna make some. And some cookies and things like that. So if y'all would like to have some candy videos or something like that, let me know. Um, and I will put a couple out. This is the size bowl I'm going to use because it's gonna be a lot of mixture. So the first thing we're gonna do is we're gonna cut open our garlic. And I've got about six heads of garlic here. So I'm just gonna take the peeling off, cut off the top and the bottom. Just open it up, get the skin off of it. And I'll show you, I'll bend the camera down and show you as I go along. Y'all, I bought a Dutch oven on Prime Day and that is the best purchase I have ever made. I made the world's best chicken and dumplings. Jesus, I ate every last drop of that. It was so good. I made a pot of beans, they were really good. And then I also made a um, pot roast last night and it turned out good. But I think my favorite was the chicken and dumplings. Jesus, they were delicious. And I'm thinking about um, doing, I may start another channel. Let me know down in the comments what you think. Um, I'm going to be having knee surgery at the first of the year, possibly. I got a wait and see what um, my, whoever's gonna take over the care of for my lupus. And, cause I just found out that I have lupus. And um, so I'm thinking about doing some freezer meals. Um, cooking them ahead and freezing them up. And that way when I don't feel well, because I don't feel well a lot of the time anymore, um, I can just throw those in 
the freezer when I get them done. And then whenever, you know, I need them, just pull them out and throw them in a pot. Add one ingredient like milk or water, whatever it's supposed to have and heat it up and eat it. That will be easy for me. So I think I'm going to start next week cooking for the next three month, three or four months. I'm gonna try to get some food up for when I have surgery or, bef you know, even when I don't feel good because there's lots of nights I don't feel good, lots of days I don't feel good and I don't cook. So I eat what I can get my hands on and Brian takes care of himself whenever I don't feel well. So I thought that would be um, an easier way of feeding us. Let me know what you think about that in the comments. Y'all, I got this through um, TikTok and it just hangs over the back of your uh, cabinet and you put your bag in it and you can just scoop trash down in it right off your counter. I love it. I already had me one for up here on the uh, island. I had this one, but it, I like this one so much better. <laughs> Cause you can just hang the bag down in it and scoop your trash down in it. You don't have to run back and forth to the trash can 25,000 times while you're cooking. It's all about making life easier, folks. Okay, now let's cut this onion. Okay guys, now we are going to cut our green pepper. And this is everything that I've cut up so far. There's the garlic, the onion, and now I'm doing the pepper. My aunt taught me how to make uh, the cabbage rolls and um, she just more or less told me how to do it. And I did it on my own and my cousin stayed with me. Her daughter stayed with me that night that I made them and we had them for Easter Sunday. And she said they was better than mama's. And I had never made them before. But don't tell mom, but she's, Dead and gone now. Rest in peace, Aunt. But, um, yeah. So, I have made them this way ever since. <laughs> she just basically told me what all to do. So, that's what I did. And they turned out delicious. And I've never changed it. This is the first time I'm using turkey. I used to use nothing but beef. But now, I use turkey as much as possible um, when I'm cooking. And your water needs to warm up before you put your cabbage in it. Because we I don't know what this process is called. But you got to get your cabbage off of the head. And you've got to boil it for five minutes to make it foldable um, to make your rolls. So we have to do that still. And we're going to get started on the cabbage. We'll start this small one, I guess, first. So what you want to do is you want to peel back. Uh, the bad pieces of cabbage like on the outside so I'm going to peel back this first piece I'm just going to keep peeling until I get down to a fresh head of cabbage okay now we have our water is ready right here Let's salt down in there. And I'm gonna take this small head of cabbage and we're gonna put it down in the water. And it's not on high, you need to leave it on like medium high. And let it set in there for five to 10 minutes. Okay guys, for the cabbage, all you need to do is clean off the cabbage till you have clean leaves, okay? So just pick your cabbage off until you got clean leaves. Now. I've got some boiling water here, and I'm going to put my cabbage down in the boiling water, and when it starts to come up uh, and get ready for me to take it off the head, I will show you how to do that. I'll be right. Okay, guys, I'm back. Now it's time to do the hamburger mixture. The cabbage is still coming to temperature, and it does take a while to get the cabbage leaves off of the cabbage. This meal is a work, but it is so rewarding in the end. Make you some mashed potatoes and peas with those cabbage rolls, and oh my God, you're going to be in 
heaven. Okay, so this is Jenny O turkey, and I just put a pound of hamburger in there. Everybody loves my cabbage rolls. Okay, now I'm going to add in our peppers, our onions, and our garlic. And I went ahead and opened a single can of tomato sauce because I'm going to need a little bit of sauce to go into this mixture. I also put meatloaf mix in mine because that helps with all the seasonings. You don't have to grab a ton of seasonings if you would rather do seasonings on your own. You are more than welcome to. I'm just trying to make it easier for moi. And this is the way I've always done it. It has lots of seasonings in there. I do put some Lowry's garlic salt and I shop by the big book on this. We love garlic salt around here. I am going to also put just a little bit of Italian seasoning in it. I'm sure it already has some, but I want a little more. Now, we're going to add in our mixed vegetables that we cut here. Garlic, onion, pepper. That happens. I'm getting one egg. I have not mixed anything yet. I don't like sticking my hands in there, so I try to wait till it's. Well, does this egg crack? I try to wait till it's almost ready to mix. So I'm putting in two eggs because I'm doing two pounds of meat. Then next, I'm going to grab my breadcrumbs. And on these, I just kind of eye it. So I'm going to add a little bit first before I start mixing. Uh, I'd say I used about a cup and a half. I don't usually make, uh, you know, I don't usually uh, measure. <laughs> I, I work without measuring. And I'm going to grab our rice. And our rice has been being washed, so I'm going to drain it. Now, I'm going to mix this up a little bit with the spoon, and then when I need to get in there and really get get it mixed up, then I'll use my hands. Let me show you what it looks like. All right. Okay, I think I need to mix with my hands, and I've already washed them. So I'm gonna get in here and mix all this up. I'm gonna have to check on my cabbage real soon. So I'm gonna cook these on low through the whole night. When we wake up in the morning, it is going to be so flavorful in the air. I know that morning I cooked them on uh, the first time I cooked them for my cousin Tammy, which she's dead too. Rest in peace, Tammy. I miss you. Um, she uh, she was like, let's try one. I said, at 6 o'clock in the morning? Yes, I smelled them things all night long. <laughs> so we did. We tried us one. We got one out and we split it. And I said, can you imagine what that's going to taste like with mashed potatoes and all the fixings? Gotta get, I thought I opened this already. Please tell me I did. I did. Okay, so I'm going to add just a little bit tomato sauce into my hamburger. I'm not going to pour a lot. Just a little bit. Now we're going to add half of this rice. This is about two cups. Okay, there's half of it. Spilled a lot of it. And did I put the, oh yeah, I need to put some more. So it's gonna take about a cup and a half, not two cups, of rice. And you just mix it all up in there. This is what we're looking like. And I am going to add 
some more um, of the breadcrumbs. So I'm gonna put about another half a cup and start mixing that in. Now that you don't want them really dry and you don't want them really soaking wet. You want them about in the middle. Cause you, you're making a, a log, like a, a log of meat laying in a uh, bed of cabbage. So, oh, this is perfect. Perfect consistency, Belinda. And you ain't made these things in years. I go, I think it's been about three, year, three years, four years since I've made them. So I'm excited. Okay, guys, so what I did, I still have the large one in here just sitting in really hot water. It's not boiling. It's it's almost at a boil. Um, so I took the so soft one off. You've got to have tongs. Um, so I stuck my fork in the core here and with your tongs. And see, I have my little colander with a bowl underneath so I'm not making a mess. I'm gonna take my tongs and work off. These other ones just fell right off. I probably took them all off, the ones that were ready. And they just fell off. See, look here. That's a two pieces right there. It's a full piece. So that will be the stuffing. So we'll use our bigger pieces of cabbage um, here we go. We'll use our bigger pieces of cabbage to roll the cabbage rolls. And if there's some that are okay, like if I'm running out of, uh, ooh, this is hot. If I'm running out of um, meat mixture and my meat mixture's getting low, then I'll use some of these smaller pieces maybe to roll up one small baby roll. Um, so it just takes, a, it's a process. Uh, making cabbage rolls, but God is it so rewarding guys to have a homemade cabbage roll in front of your face Getting ready to devour it. They are so good And you need your knife too. Uh, if you don't cut it like I did that little one You'll need your knife to cut as you come around the cabbage head so I'll just go ahead and cut. I'm cutting right here. I'm sure once we get down lower, um, they will come off easier. Whew, hot, hot. But you get the gist of it. That's how you peel your cabbage um, before you start doing the rolls. I know nobody showed me how to do this. I had to learn how to do it on my own, uh, like over the phone. Like that's how I learned. I would call my aunt and she would tell me what she, how she did it. So I figured it out. So um, I'm gonna just keep doing this and I'll be back. Hey guys, so I've got my crock pot out. There's my meat mixture. And here's my cabbage. And then I've got some of my cans open and we're going to start the process of stacking and filling. So let's get started. Okay, so we're gonna start. Um, the first thing I'm gonna do is I'm gonna lay down just a little bit of sauerkraut in the bottom of the crock pot. Okay, so now we're gonna go and put a layer down here in the bottom. Not a lot, because we're gonna put some cabbage down there too. And I will show you all what it looks like. So there's that. So now I have my small cabbage from the little head. So I'm gonna take some of this and usually I will take the broken pieces and use those for filling. And we're gonna put just put a layer of cabbage down on the bottom of the crock pot. And a little bit of sauerkraut. That's gonna start our process. And here is our um, tomato sauce. So I'm just gonna pour a little bit down on the bottom like that. I'll set that right there. 
And uh, now we're gonna make a roll. Here's our first cabbage leaf. And I did put just about another third of a cup of rice in, that rice in here and mixed it up, but it still looks the same. It just needed a little bit more rice. So I'm gonna grab a handful for this size leaf. And that's another thing. You um, grab enough meat the same size as your cabbage leaf because you don't want to put a big bunch of meat in the too little of cabbage leaf. So as you can see, I've just made a little log. So we're going to roll in the sides and just roll it up. And usually they stay together. So that's how I rolled it. And I'm going to start me a layer down here in the bottom of the crock pot. So we're going to continue doing that. So here's another small one. I mean, this crock pot's going to be full. We'll make a smaller log out of this one. And guys, it is so good. If you try this recipe, you have to let me know because it's, it's really delicious. Just make a little log and because there's some spots in the crock pot like up against this side uh, you can't fit a long one but you can fit a short one so that's what we're going to do we're going to just make cabbage rolls until it's full okay I'm back but I have a big one so what we're going to do here is we're going to get a pretty big you can see if I make a ball out of this this is the perfect meatball mixture. This is a perfect meatloaf mixture. This is perfect. This is like A1, baby. So we're putting that big one in there and I'm gonna add a little bit to it because I want my bigger rolls to have a good chunk of meat loaf in it. Okay, now I'm gonna show you how to really wrap it because I couldn't show you with those little ones. So with the big one, you're gonna fold in that, fold in this, fold in the middle, and then you're just gonna roll and fold it over. That's it. And that one's going right there. Okay, let me uh, wipe my hands off and I'll show you what that looks like. So here is our, oh, I need a little one right there. So let me do that now. Now on top of this mixture, I'm going to put my sauerkraut. Not all of it, because we're still making another layer. So we're going to put a pretty good layer of sauerkraut out right there. And you don't have to drain it. Because all that goodness is going to be mixed together. Yeah. Pour some sauce. I needed to use that one up. Okay, so that one's done. Now we're going to add some tomatoes, some diced tomatoes. I'm gonna drain these a little bit. I didn't drain them fully. So I'm gonna pull about half of that mixture on top. And then we're going to put some more cabbage. So I'm going to reach down in here and get some small pieces. We're gonna... Oh yeah. Okay, so this is what we are looking like. Okay guys, this is what she looks like. And so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna put this in the refrigerator and then I'll start cooking it about uh, 11 o'clock tonight after Brian gets home. I will start them. And then um, in the morning, when I do the rest of the food to go with this for tomorrow, I will do a short video showing you what I paired with it and showing you what they look like on a plate and all that. So I'll see you tomorrow. Okay guys, it is the next day. Here is our scrumptious, umptious cabbage rolls. And I also have 
mashed potatoes, peas, and rolls. So I'm gonna plate it up and then we're gonna take a bite. Okay guys, I'm getting ready to take my bite. Yes, I still have my bonnet on this morning cause I had to get busy cooking, finish cooking when I got up this morning. Uh, this is our plate. Peas, mashed potatoes, Miss Sh Sister Schubert rolls, and a couple of uh, of these. I'm letting it cool down. It's gonna be hot. I'm gonna take my first bite. Look at all that goodness. You want a bite? You get the first bite. Oh my God. Oh, so good guys. So good. So if you make this recipe, please let me know how you liked it. If you'd like to change anything, feel free to change anything to your taste and let me know how they turn out. If you have any questions, please let me know and I will answer them in the comments. I will see you in the next one. Stay blessed.